Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Ivy and I am excited to bring you this video today. This is my what I got for Christmas video. I have already put out all of my other gift guides of all the things that my husband and I got for our family members this year, the things I got for my husband. Um, so I put this out not to be braggy and be like, Ooh, look at me, look what I got. Um, but more as like a gift guide. So if you are stumped for a certain person in your life, the woman in your life, your wife, your mom, your teacher, your friend, your Disney lover. Like if you just need a gift, like I got some really incredible gifts this year. And so I put these out as more of a gift guide. Like here's some great ideas for gifts to get the woman in your life. Okay, so let's dive right in and I'm going to pretty much go through these in the order in which they were received ish. So as far as I can kind of remember, um, that's just the easiest way to like lump them all together and kind of tell you who I got them from as well. So the first thing I would say I received was from a coworker. I got several things from coworkers. Um, once I got some socks, I got some coffee stuff. Um, they're strewn about my house. This was the only thing that was close to me I could get my hands on, but um, of course, for the Disney lover in your life, um, anything Disney is going to do a great job. But this was three sets of earrings. Um, I have been wearing these Santa mini earrings all season long. I am wearing the heart shaped earrings and there's also some mini bows in there. So I love that it wasn't just Christmas earrings, that it's something I can wear all year long. So that's kind of a really great tip there. Like it's fun to get something kind of Christmas oriented, but is a bonus that it was all year long. So it did still have a TJ Maxx tag on it. It didn't have the price. She didn't leave the price, but um, she picked these up at TJ Maxx. So um, there's a great idea. Jewelry is always a good idea. So there's that. Um, and then our pastor gave us a gift. He gave Scotty a book, but he gave the whole family this puzzle, the nativity puzzle. Uh, so I thought that was really pretty. I do love puzzles. I don't often have time for them, but I think puzzles are a great gift. It's something that will like force you to slow down, you know, and kind of do something for yourself. And so uh, I'm, I'm excited to find some time to put that together. Um, and then he also gave me this really cool like old primer. So it's like just this little miniature book based on 1777. Um, like the school books that they would have used. Of course, it's more miniature than they would have used, I would imagine. But anyway, it's really cool. Um, it's very, it's like the alphabet and, um, oh, there, dang it. Yeah. So like, it's got little things for each of the letters and it's Christian based because our foundation was on Christian living. Um, but since I am a teacher going to school to be a teacher, that was just a really thoughtful gift to get from him. Um, and it's just neat, neat to look at those kind of old things. Our history of our country for sure is important that we hang on to that. Um, the next thing, one of our youth students got Scotty and I, these Squishmallows, of course he knows I love Disney. Scotty does by proxy, you know, um, but you're never too old for a Squishmallow. And I certainly am not, I was thrilled to get this one is mine. This one's Scotty's. Um, but yeah, no, they're kind of both for me and I absolutely love them. So I got some Disney Squishmallows. Like I said, I don't know that you're ever too old for a stuffed animal. Like that's always a fun thing to get. Okay. And then next we went to my adult daughter's house. And so these are from my adult daughter and her family. Um, she got me a couple of clothing items. So I was like, what should I wear today to do my video? And we're going to the school tonight for a ball game. So I was like, I'm going to put my teacher shirt on. All my students keep coming up to me anyhow. So the first, well, not the first thing she got me, but the first clothing item she got me was this super cute dress. So it is those, they're like kind of viral right now. I feel like it's almost like a swimsuit, um, but it's like an athletic dress and it's got built-in shorts underneath it. I don't know if the, these have pockets. They do. Shorts with pockets. And it's just a super cute little athletic dress. And if you watched my Christmas Day video, you know that we are going to Disney World this summer. And this is the main reason I wanted this dress. I had it in my Amazon wish list. And so I'm so excited to have it. And uh, I haven't tried it on yet. I need to do that. But... 
I could see myself getting it in a couple of different colors because I feel like this is going to be the only thing I'm going to want to wear in the parks because it is so cozy feeling like not cozy but like just comfortable like swimsuit style just it's going to be so cool and breezy and perfect to wear um, in Florida in the summer heat. Okay, the next clothing item that she got me was this um, Winnie the Pooh hoodie. It's super soft and cozy, and I just love it. It is adorable. She got it from Sam's Club. I know that much. Um, I don't know if they still sell it or not, but um, it is just super cozy. Like, the lining and everything is so soft, and this is like, I don't know how to explain that. It's not embroidery necessarily, but... I don't know. It's super cute. I love the color. I love the neutralness of it. So a nice hoodie is always a great idea for anybody in your life. I'm also a major fan of a crew neck sweatshirt. So that's always a good option as well. Okay, next she gave me a little self care, gave me these little eye masks for like under my eye. And I am super excited to try these because I'm running a little ragged these days. <laughs> All the holiday fun has got me little bit worn down so I am excited to do some self-care and give those a try. Next she got me this awesome car like I almost said like transistor radio that is not what it is it's like a wireless hands-free adapter you plug it into your cigarette lighter I drive an older vehicle it's a 2007 8 something like that and so it doesn't have like the wireless connectivity with your phone for your radio but this does that so I can play music and um, I think I can do phone calls through it. It says works with Siri and Google Assistant. So I'm going to say you can. Yeah, this little picture shows a phone and a music note. So um, I should be able to do my phone calls and stuff through it as well. So that's really cool that it can take my old car and modernize it just a little bit. So I'm excited about that. That was Amazon as well. That was in my Amazon wish list. Okay, the next thing she got me was, that's the box for it, but this phone mount. So it's really cool. I actually um, put this in my wish list as well, but Jessica Braun had it on her channel. And so it is folded up like this. So it is super portable, but it folds out into so many different configurations. This thing can turn, so um, it, it goes all the way backwards. It's just really handy dandy, but then you can push this and it becomes a clamp. And so the way they were using it was like on their shopping cart for their kids when they were like grocery shopping and stuff. Uh, of course, my kids are much older, but I have already used it for a couple of different filming things. So it, the main reason I wanted it, the idea behind it was to hook to my kitchen cabinets. So when I'm filming for cooking and stuff like that, um, I could use it and it works perfectly on my kitchen cabinet. I actually had it clipped to there. You might have seen it. I don't know because I just went and grabbed it from there. I don't know if it was in frame or not. Um, but I had it there and it's been clipped there since Christmas Eve because I filmed by the Christmas tree on Christmas Eve. So um, it's super cool. I love it so much. And um, spoiler, my husband also got me one. So this, not just the box, it has one in there as well. But I can keep one in my craft room, have one in my kitchen or have one in my purse, have one in, you know what I mean? Like just have it options that I can take it with me and use it. And so I actually am super excited that I got two of these. So um, not sad about that at all. But uh, if you have young kids, use it the shopping cart way, or you can clip it to the back of your seat or something if your kids use your phone quite often um, while you're out and about. Okay, next from Katie, if you're not gathering, she was like, um, she took care, almost wiped out my uh, wish list this year. <laughs> Between her and my mother-in-law, they got several things off my wish list, and I am not sad about it. So she got me this three-pack of sunglasses. They are so cute. I love them so much. I don't wear sunglasses a lot in the winter. I mostly wear them in the summer, but uh, these are so cute. I have actually owned a pair similar to these before, and that's why I put them in my wish list. They're just a super attractive shape. And they don't have a nose piece, so I can put them up on my head and not get caught in my hair. Um, but they're just a little bit classier because they have the wire earpiece. And I just love them. So there are three different styles. There's the tortoise shell. And I think these are just a lighter tortoise shell and a black pair. Okay, next and also from my Amazon wish list. I think this is actually last from Katie. 
Um, it is this set of metal hair clips. So this is a Minnie Mouse head. So cute. Um, I love metal clips. I have very thick, coarse hair, so I need metal to hold my hair up because otherwise it's not staying. It actually came with a scrunchie as well. It came with a little baby mini clip. So you got two different sizes of Minnie Mouse clips there. And a little princess crown clip. I just thought they were so adorable and I've already worn them a couple of times. I had to go gather them up so I could put them back in my um, pile to show you guys. But So that is what Katie got for me. And then her kids have this sweet little shop at school. I think it's called the Penguin Patch or something. And so they were able to go shopping for their family members. And Dirks, who is four, got this for me because he knows I like arts and crafts. So I don't know if he really thought that through or not, but... Part of me wants to believe that he definitely did think that through, that his Grammy loves arts and crafts. So he got me a Spirograph. And then Kinsley knows I am a jewelry wearer. I could have worn these today. Um, but she got me these super cute earrings. Love them so much. They are dangly. They're like mother of pearl looking. Just such thoughtful little babies. I'm just so grateful for that. Oh, and then Kinsley had these little things wrapped up too. Seeds of happiness. And then like a little butterfly. Oh. So just some little paper things, but she wrapped them. So I wanted to show you guys. It's, you know, always the thought that counts. Things don't have to be huge and big and extravagant. Several of these things are, and I'm grateful for them. Don't get me wrong, but um, I'm just as grateful for the little things too. It just blesses my heart um, to have people think of you, you know, and just get you even the tiniest little thing. It's just such a sweet sweet sentiment. Okay, so next collection of gifts are from my mother-in-law. We go there on Christmas Eve night, so these are from her, and I got these super cozy pajama pants. I have been dying to film this video so that I can, like, wear my clothes and stuff because, like I said, the things I got way before Christmas, they are dispersed around my house. I couldn't even gather them up, um, but... The other things that I've gotten more recently, I'm like, I can't wait any longer. I want to wear them and have them um, and use them. So uh, those are for my mother-in-law. Next, she always gets all of us girls these Hawaiian soaps. So of course, soaps and body care items are always so good. These are so fragrant and they have like a natural loofah inside. So once you like get that very, very top layer of soap, you have an exfoliating um loofah inside there and they they are so fragrant but they don't like leave you it's not overpowering but they leave you like squeaky clean in a good way but they're it's super nice soap okay and then next from her uh again for my wish list but i'm just so grateful because these are like calligraphy pins they have two tips and there's it's in this really nice tin I actually have not used the Crayola kind, but the other kind that I got, I can't remember what they were, a couple of years ago, lasted forever, um, but then I couldn't find them again. And so I put these in my list quite a while back. There's 32 colors in here, but I use them for calligraphy, note-taking, and writing, um, mostly during church, but I love this kind of pen. So if you've got someone that likes fancy writing, note-taking, journaling, pens, markers are always a good gift. You're going to see more of that. Okay, next from my mother-in-law is this antique mixer. Like, I'm ridiculously excited about this. So they are like estate sale goers and stuff like that. And she found this and just thought it was super cool. And I definitely agree. I definitely need to find somewhere to display this, but also I want to use it because it's so fun. <laughs> like a hand mixer. So I just thought it was super neat and definitely super thoughtful. I love antiques and old stuff. So this is a fun thing to have gotten and a nice little surprise. You know, like it's cool to shop people's wish list because you know that's something that they're going to want and I appreciate every single thing off my wish list but then like the gifts like the sweatshirt was not on my wish list the um the mixer the pajama pants several of my other things here were not on my wish list so the fact that they know me and they got things that I didn't like ask for just that makes it so much special too so that's one thing like I am one like I don't mind shopping wish list because again you know you want that but I would prefer to like hear somebody say, oh, I need this. I want this. I'd like to have that. And I make notes in my phone all year long. And so I'm less of a wish list shopper and more of a 
I thought about this. I heard you say this type of shopper. And so when people do that for me, I'm just like blown away and I'm so grateful. So anyway, keep that in mind when you are gift giving as well. Speaking of these next couple of things, again, for my mother-in-law, she just picked up because she loves me and she knows me. And this is technically a baby item, but it's Petunia Pickle Bottom, which that's expensive. Um, again, they are um, auction and estate sale goers, so I know she got an amazing deal on it. But it is a Mickey Mouse, like, cool bag. So it would be awesome for, like, um, just a day trip or something to keep some things cold in, or I could use this as a lunchbox. Um, whatever it may be, I love it and it is so adorable and it feels so good too. So that's another fun thing about it too. But another very thoughtful gift for the Disney person in your life. I promise I'm not throwing things into the abyss. They're landing on the couch over there. All right, next, I should have sat this out on Christmas Eve night, but we got home really late, so I did not. But I can't wait to have it out for next Christmas. It is a Treats for Santa um, plate and little glass bottle with a straw. It's so adorable. Uh, again, my mother-in-law just saw it and thought of me, and I'm so grateful. I love it so much. All right, another wish list item, and this one's actually been on my wish list for quite a long time, so I know she scrolled down to the bottom and looked at everything I had on there. But this is Just Between Us journal, and so this is actually a gift for myself and Riley. Um, but what you do is there's like, if I'm remembering correctly, okay, there's like pages that have um, like questions, and so this side says mother, and this side says daughter, and so like... I would write on this side that she would write on this side. So basically, um, I would fill this out and put it in her room and there's a bookmark in it. And so you would mark whatever page you wrote on and then like I would put it in her room and she would fill out the daughter portion of the page. And then she would also fill out a page and then put it in my room and then I would fill out the mom portion of it. And so um, it's just super cool. I think it's an awesome way. She's much older now than when I put this in there. I should have just like went and bought it then but I think this is also a really good age she's 16 um, to get those thoughts between us out in the open you know before she's off on her own to college and everything so very timely I think gift and I'm really excited to start this with Riley and see how it goes okay the last thing I received from my mother-in-law's house and if you watched my Q&A video um, I'm about to eat my words quite literally because we got three Texas Roadhouse <laughs> gift cards. They don't watch my channel. I'm fine that they don't watch my channel. Um, but I had said that Texas Roadhouse was overrated and we prefer Longhorn. I don't care. I'm going to go eat at Texas Roadhouse and it's going to prove me wrong that it is not overrated and that is an amazing restaurant. And so we are going to Texas Roadhouse at least three times probably. <laughs> <laughs> maybe two times. I don't know how expensive it is. We haven't eaten there in a really long time. Um, so I got one from my mother-in-law to Scotty and I, and then two from my brother-in-law, one for Scotty and one for myself. So again, not sad about a date night, a free date night at that. So um, we are going to go get proven wrong that Texas Roadhouse is not overrated, but gift cards are always a great idea, especially to a restaurant like we are so busy. You guys see it. You know it. Um, and we don't get out enough. So this is going to force us to get out and go spend some us time on a date night or a couple date nights. And um, that's always a great gift idea. Okay, so now for Christmas morning here at the house. So the kids both got me gifts. The kids both had jobs this year, so they had their own money to spend on gifts. So it was really sweet and thoughtful, the gifts that they put thought into getting. So this shirt right here is a teacher shirt. And Riley got it for me off of Sheen. And it's just all these little teacher equipment and stuff like school supplies. And then at the bottom it says teacher. Um, she was going to send it back. And she actually told me about it. Because she's like, it's too small because I held it up to me and it's going to fit me. Which obviously it's not too small. It is smaller than I like. She knows I like bigger oversized shirts. But I also will wear like a super high-waisted skirt. and um, Or I'll wear like a dress and put this over the top and tie a knot. And I said, you don't no, just give it to me. I said, I'll, I will keep it. I love it. I think it's, well, I actually didn't see it until Christmas morning, but, um, I love that you got me a teacher shirt. And, um, so just, just wrap it and don't worry about finding something else or whatever. So she did, she kept it. 
but she did get me something else. So wouldn't you know it, the week of Christmas, my straightener broke and I knew Scotty was already done shopping for me. And so, but she knew my straightener broke broke and so she ordered me a hair straightener so that straightener was like 10 years old it had lived a long life but she was so sweet and thoughtful and spent her hard-earned money buying me this straightener and I could not be more grateful I almost straightened my hair today just so I could use it but like I said we're going out tonight so I wanted to curl my hair but I'm so excited that I have a new straightener like such a sweet kid and so thoughtful to she already got me something. I was like perfectly happy to have a teacher shirt and then she went the extra mile and got me the straightener that I needed. So what a sweet kid. I'm raising them right, I guess. They're they're awesome. And then Aiden got me and all of us actually these really nice Ozark Trail water bottles. It's purple. I don't know if you can tell. Um it's like, oh, that actually looks more purple than up close, but it's like a lavender purple. It is so pretty, um, but it's got a straw top, which he knows. I hope, I think he knows I prefer a straw top um, in this really nice loop. We have literally all been talking about working out and getting back into better fitness and better health, especially before our vacation this summer. And so I don't know if that was his premise behind it, but that's definitely how I'm taking it and I'm grateful for it because I'm going to need to hydrate. So it's actually really large. I don't know how many ounces, but it's really nice. And I'm really proud that he chose this one as own. All right. Now on to the things from Scotty. Like I said, he also got me one of those phone mounts, which is super exciting because now I'm going to have two. That is one of the things that is, you know, a downside to wish lists that you might get duplicates. And we don't have our setup that it disappears from your list once it's bought because then people are going to know that you bought it for them unless they're not monitoring their wish lists. I don't know. Anyhow, moving on from that. Okay. So the next thing he got me is these awesome pens. These are my two favorite pens. So if you are a pen person and you just need like the Holy grail, this is my Holy grail. It is the precise V five. Um, and it is a super fine point. It's like a liquid ink. Um, not a ballpoint. Is it considered a ballpoint? It says rolling ball, but it is so smooth and it is just the best ink pen. No skipping, no anything. It is just such a fine point. I love it so much. I'm a big writer. I write really big, so I prefer a really fine point. So this is my Holy Grail pen and I go through them like crazy. So I'm super excited to have these. And then I found these earlier this summer before school started. I was actually at my brother-in-law's house and he was using one and I'm like, what is this magic? It is an erasable ink pen. And... There were erasable ink pens when we were kids, but they didn't actually erase. These do. These are a game changer, especially if you are a planner person. I use these in my happy planner. I use them when I take notes at school and things like that during meetings. Um, but these are incredible. They are also pilot. So um, they've got some magic going on there. Um, friction. F-R-I-X-I-O-N, friction, um, but it is also a zero five point. So it's like super fine point. I cannot sing their praises enough. I love erasable ink pens. They're so good. And I think those were in my stocking. Maybe not, but this definitely was in my stocking. And y'all, I am ridiculous about this. And I am like, I can't even. I am <laughs> sorry that. So... It is an entire box of the chapstick that I use, the lip balm that I use, which is the Natural Ice. My dad actually found this brand years and years and years ago, and for a while we couldn't find it anywhere to buy. I bought my dad a box of this years ago, and just before he passed, he told me that he had finally opened the last tube of it. Now, I am not <laughs> that good. I I lose them all the time. I wash them in the washing machine. I keep them in my pocket. So I lose them. I wash them. Who knows what happens to them? Hopefully this lasts me a year, 12 tubes of it. But anyway, um, stocking a person up on something that they love, always a good idea. Consumables, things that they're going to use anyway. Again, always a good idea. The ink pens, the chapstick, do it. And your loved one will absolutely thank you. 
Next, I put this little bag here to remind me, but he actually got me a new chain for my necklace. So that I have started wearing this necklace again for about a month. He actually got this as my wedding gift, so 18 and a half years ago. Uh, but I continuously break the chain because it has to have such a dainty chain. Um, and so he got me a new chain for my necklace and I'm super grateful to have it back. I've actually been, the chain I've been wearing on it was silver and not gold. And it's like wearing out the little thing, you know, the, I don't know where it connects to the chain. <laughs> so he got me a new chain for my necklace. Okay. And then the next thing he did this on his own guys, not on my wish list. I said nothing about it. I'm just in awe he just did such an awesome job this year but he got me some new hey dudes and these are so cute they're like winter hey dudes they have really cute little design on them they're pink they're fuzzy i am in love with them i've i've already worn them a lot don't look at the bottoms they're dirty um but how cool is he that he just knew actually the hey dudes he got me last year for christmas um, a kid spilled chocolate milk on him at, on my lunch duty. And I keep saying <laughs> something about, I need to wash these. I have chocolate milk. So yay, no more chocolate milk shoes. Um, and I'm so excited. Actually, I'm not getting rid of those, but I'm really glad that I have some new shoes to wear and not chocolate milk stained shoes. All right. And then my last gift from him is a biggie guys. I was not expecting to get this. I like dropped hints about a different one because it was on Black Friday sale for like $70. Y'all, he bought me the tablet that I wanted, like the expensive one. And I am so excited about it. I have not stopped using it since we got it. Um, I've been downloading apps, Canva. Um, I am excited to use this for not necessarily editing, editing, but um, like, um, maybe making like my thumbnails and stuff like that on, because I've seen some really cool tips about using a tablet to make your thumbnails. And, um, also I can use this out in my craft room. I, a lot of times I can't film because I use my phone to film and I want to watch something. And so now I can like film and watch something like if I'm doing like a time lapse or something, it's just so sweet and thoughtful and like, I just can't get over it. Like it's the one with the S pin. Like it's just, oh, I was blown away. I did not, did not. I thought it was a book or a Bible or something. Um, did not expect to get this at all. So um, this was the, well, he did give me one more thing. He actually got me another one of the radio transistor thingies for my car, but we're going to send that back and get a case for this. So he basically got me a case for this as well. So it's on its way. It'll be here tomorrow. Um, but I am so in love with my tablet. It is just so nice. I've already, like, it super stresses me out holding it without a, t without a case on it. So um, the buttons are also backwards from my phone. But that's a picture I took in Disney. So I've already got it, like, Ivy-fied on there. So anyway, I am loving it. I'm so grateful, like, beyond grateful. I can't even believe that he got this for me. He definitely spoiled me this year, and I am just on cloud nine. Okay, so a couple final items at my mom's house. Like, we don't get each other anything over there, but my niece um, shopped at the church store and was able to get, like, use her points to get things um, for her family members. And so she got me these two super cute ornaments for my tree, which they are going to be so perfect on my tree. My tree is a little bit rustic, um, and so I love them. They're just these little wood woodcut things. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about those. So sweet and thoughtful. And then my daughter's boyfriend also got me some ornaments. So he got me this super cute little joy one. It's just like a die cut joy. And he also got me, oh, <laughs> this Mickey Mouse one. He's in his hundredth anniversary outfit. He's so glittery and sparkly. He's so cute. He's not going to be a Christmas ornament. Um, that goes away. He's going to hang out in my Disney room. Um, but I love him so much and how thoughtful and sweet that he would get me this Disney ornament. Okay. And the last gift that we received, we actually just got it two nights ago after Christmas from our friend, Steven. 
Um, he always gets me signs for my house. So if you've been watching for a while, you'll see all the signs that I've gotten from him. And so he usually gets one for Scotty and one for me. And so this year he got one for the both of us and it made me cry. <laughs> Last year I almost cried um, with the craft room sign that he got me. And this year I definitely cried, could not contain it. Scotty said, I did not expect you to cry. I said, I didn't expect to cry. So um, what it is, is a sign that says, memories made at the lake last a lifetime. So we have a lake, we have a Airbnb that has a cabin on it and my dad built all that stuff. And um, I already mentioned my dad passed away this year. And so it was just so perfect. And I'm so grateful because it is so true. And I just, I'm so grateful for it and so blessed. Um, I'm like, I kind of want to put it here but it's going to go down at the cabin and it's going to point, it's going to be over the side door that points directly down to the lake. And, um, it's just perfect. And I'm so grateful for it. It's such a special thing. And I was so spoiled this year in so many different ways, just how everybody just really thought about me and got things that I wanted and needed and, um, just love. And I'm just so grateful for it. So I hope that this gave you some great gift ideas for the woman in your life. Um, I think there's some great unique ideas in here, honestly, um, but also just some very timeless ones. I feel like that's kind of been my theme this year. Gifts that you could get any year, any time of year that would um, be really perfect for any woman in your life. Um, also some really good themes here, like almost hyper fixating on something that they love, like Disney for me, um, you know, um, giving them things that they use, the pins and markers and um, lip balm, like those are all awesome things. So if you need ideas, maybe these aren't specific for what will fit your need, but the ideas and the com concepts will. So I hope that you did gain some inspiration from this video in one way or another. If you did, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, um, anything that stuck out to you, things that you're going to put on your like, oh yeah, I'm going to get that for so-and-so next year or coming up birthday or whatever. I would love to hear any ideas that you got from this video. And of course, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel um, so that you don't miss any of my future content. I put out these gift guides once a year, but if this is something that interests you guys, I've tried to put out other gift guides, but they don't do nearly as well as my Christmas ones. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my future content. Thank you for coming along with this one with me today. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.